Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at using the clone tool inside of DaVinci Resolve 12. Now the reason why I'm still out here in my project manager is because it's important to clone your media before you start working on your project. In fact, you have to do it before you even import the media into the media pool. So I'm going to launch a new project. And now I'll better be able to demonstrate this panel. Now you might be wondering why I didn't show this in the earlier videos, seeing as we've already started importing media and organizing it. And the thing is, the clone tool does pertain to slightly more advanced industry workflows. It's considered a standard part of the DIT's job, and what it does is basically ensures that your media is backed up. But why cloning? Why not just making a duplicate or a copy uh, inside of Finder or Windows Explorer? With a clone, you're getting an exact replica of the files and folder structures in every respect. In fact, when you make a clone, you also receive a checksum report written into the root of each destination folder that verifies the absolute accuracy of the duplication of your media. Let's take a look at the clone tool. It's accessed in the top left corner of the media page. When you activate it, you see it looks really basic, and it looks a little bit like a render queue, which is kind of what it is. In order to start cloning your media, you first have to find it inside of your media storage library. Click on Add Job, and drag and drop the source folder in the top half of the panel. Secondly, you need to specify where the destination will be. Let's say I want to go into a different drive, and I'd like to place this inside of Documents. Notice how I still have the option to drop another destination folder. That's because you can make multiple clones simultaneously, which is really useful if you're on location and you're trying to back up your media to multiple drives simultaneously. Additionally, in the top right-hand corner, you have your Preserve Folder Name option, which ensures that it's not just the media in this folder that will end up in the destination, but the folder itself will also come across. Once you've done setting this up, you can then go on to add another job. So I could, for example, go back and add card 2 from the first day. But for now, I'll just clone card 1. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes and I've received a confirmation at the top telling me my job is now complete. If I go into my finder and access my documents, I will find the card1 folder with all the media inside. At the top is my checksum report. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.